up everybody, this is Justin Johnson. I've got a new box here in the guitar loft today to unbox with you guys, a new guitar to check out. This one is from Court, as you can see on the box. A few months back, I actually unboxed one of their models from their Gold series, and uh, this one is from their new Core series. You know, I think a lot of people have heard about Court, but even if you don't think you've ever played a Court, you've probably played uh, lots of Courts if you've played lots of guitars, because they're one of the biggest guitar manufacturing companies. They actually get licensed to build guitars for all kinds of other companies. The designs that they put out are really based on their knowledge of, of making like every type of guitar imaginable. And they're always really affordable. So uh, they're some of the best guitars for the money. But uh, enough talking about it. Let's check it out, open it up, see what it looks like, see what it sounds like and have some fun. I've got my ceremonial unboxing knife as always. And uh, Let's dig in. All right, so before I even open it up, um, I love their gig bags. You know, it's a gig bag. It looks like a gig bag. It is one, um, but it's actually very rigid. You know, a lot of gig bags are basically just kind of like padded bags. You can tell this has like a sturdy wall to it. And um, I can see just offers probably a lot more protection than a standard gig bag most people are used to seeing. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, that's got such a cool bluesy vibe to it. Uh, I love that. This is the all mahogany model. So they've got three models with the uh, new core series, also called I think the OC series. Um, there is a uh, one with spruce top, and I think that one has mahogany sides and back. This one's all mahogany, so it has mahogany sides, mahogany back, and a mahogany soundboard too. And then I think there's a blackwood series that has a blackwood top. But they all have different, uh, these like vintage looking, open pore finish, uh, really rootsy vibe, really cool swampy vibe to it. That's cool. I got a piece of plastic over the sound hole. I've never, never seen that before. Just beautiful. I mean, looks like an awesome back porch, like blues guitar. One of the things I've heard, again, I've never played one of these uh, from the Core series here. This is the first time I've ever seen them in person. But uh, what I think the goal is behind their Core series is that they want to take all of the elements that make, you know, a high dollar, high, high like uh, quality guitar, a lot of the uh, solid wood construction, um, you know, great hardware, different things like that. But they're kind of um, cutting out some of the aesthetic things that go along with uh, guitars that you end up spending more money on. So you're not, uh, when, you, when you buy a guitar from this series, uh, their goal again is to uh, give you everything that contributes to the sound and the feel of the guitar that you would be paying for without having to, you know, pay for basically just like paint jobs, aesthetics, and uh, decorating the guitar in that kind of sense. But you know, it feels great. It just feels so woody. You can feel the grain um, really nicely on the front, on the soundboard here, on the back, on the neck. Just gorgeous. And it's just all mahogany and there's something cool and pure about a guitar that's just one type of wood. Again, solid back and sides and top. All right, so I've got it tuned up here and uh, let's uh, pick around on it a little bit and see what it sounds like. I love it. Man, you know, it's very responsive. It doesn't have, you know, a ton of like woofy bass. It's not too bass heavy. It's not too, you know, uh, a sharp or trill, like what shrill on the treble tones. And uh, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that for one, um, it's, it's that got that mahogany top. So the mahogany top, as opposed to something like, let's say a spruce top or something like that, 
um, is known for having a little bit darker tone. So, you know, not as much on the high end. And also the body shape, um, this OM body shape is uh, not only is it very comfortable, but it's a little uh, smaller and a little less boomy and bassy than something like a big dreadnought or jumbo or something like that. So it's great for that balance between the low notes and the high notes. It's got a, a really, you know, especially with this open pour finish, which I find sometimes open uh, opens up a guitar. Um, by that, I mean that it, it like lets those frequencies really ring out. Sometimes that can be a great thing. Sometimes it can be a little harder to control some of the high end and like string squeaks and things like that on a guitar. But uh, this one, I think again, because of that mahogany top is just really well balanced. It's, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's got good um, good access to the higher frets too. I love a cutaway on an acoustic guitar. Um, still get a lot of that tone, but for me to be able to play the lead notes and, and follow melodies up and down the fretboard like that uh, really adds to the, again, the quality and value of a guitar. Really comfortable, the action is nice. It's got a great setup uh, straight out of the box like this. Really light too, um, really well balanced, comfortable on that end, and um, so, let me talk to a little bit about the pickup here. Um, it's got a Fishman pickup in here and I'm gonna go, actually I'm plugged into this Fishman Loudbox acoustic amp down here. So let me just give you the tone um, coming straight out of that acoustic amplifier just with the pickup. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not use the microphone here when you're hearing this next example. Yeah, you know, again, really well balanced. It's got a tone and a volume knob, real simple, um, under saddle pickup, piezo pickup. Another thing too, again, about how, again, this guitar keeps it nice and simple aesthetically, but there's still a lot of uh, quality put into it. So the saddle and the nut are both bone. Again, it's all solid woods. Um, so again, these are a lot of the qualities you see in guitars that are, you know, two or three times the price of this one. And the fact that they have all of those um, characteristics, all those materials and basically ingredients that make up a, a more expensive guitar makes this a really great value. <laughs> Thank you.
Love it. Man, I'll tell you, this is uh, just such an easy and fun guitar to play. And uh, if you want to check out where you can get one of these, you can find out in the information on this video uh, where you can pick one up from the court website and uh, their distributors. I just love this guitar. It is just, I'd say, best way I could put it, it, it just feels good to play it. It's a, it's a super easy guitar and uh, you don't have to force anything out of it. Um, also, you know, I haven't played too many acoustic guitars that were totally mahogany. I really like the balance of this, you know. I, I'm not a big fan of when a, uh, an acoustic guitar gets like too high indie. Um, I like it when they're a little mellow, and this one delivers really good on that. So again, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure while you're here, hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification so you know when I'll be putting up a new video. And thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.